Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and another regeneration custom and an update to one of my previous regeneration customs because as some of you will know a while back um, I think it was one of the first regeneration customs I made actually um, or at least one of the first box ones I made was my regenerated seventh doctor and I was I loved the figure absolutely brilliant but I was never fully pleased with the waistcoat on it and I made a little mistake of having the um, the chain on his waistcoat in pink rather than uh, the green that it should be and so I would always like to have gone back at some point and, and, and done it and recently when I did my uh, fifth doctor um, series of customs I found that I was more confident about doing the finer details so I thought I would update my seventh doctor custom to have a much uh, nicer pattern on the waistcoat um, however I also found myself with another box spare um, because this is in fact a fifth doctor and master box and I found myself with this spare and I sort of contemplated the time thinking well what could I do for a um, another regeneration box custom and I had for a long time I've wanted to do a, an eighth doctor and I will be doing an eighth doctor in future but I decided that the the problem with doing the eighth doctor is I thought well I could do an eighth doctor with a TV movie master but the problem with that was that I realized that to do the eighth doctor as I wanted to do it it wouldn't have been what was seen on the show and it also meant that if I'd done a movie master, which I am planning to do anyway, I would have had to have put him in the box or make up a second one to put in my lineup of the masters. And I decided that I wanted to keep him in the lineup, so I decided, well, you know what? I won't do a, I won't do a, um, I won't do a, a regenerated um, eighth doctor. And then I thought, but I really want to do one. So I thought, well, why don't I take the box from my 7th Doctor, make up an 8th Doctor, and then I've got a regenerated 8th Doctor, and that's what I've done, and you're going to see that in future. But it then meant that I had this 7th Doctor out of his box, and it meant, well, I'm going to have to buy another box now. And then I thought, well, hang on a minute, I've got a spare box, it's a double box, and I've previously done a regenerated 2-pack with the 3rd Doctor and the Auton. So why don't I do another one? And then I thought, well, what could I do in terms of a uh, regenerated Seventh Doctor and two-pack? And I realized, well, the, the, the general sort of way that they do the two-packs is they have them. I thought about doing a companion with Mel, but Mel isn't really a companion that interests me. I don't want to make a figure of her. And I realized that the two-packs that we've seen is usually Doctor and Enemy. So I thought, well, there's only one, en well, there's some enemies I could make. I could make a Tet Trap, but that would be ridiculously difficult. So I thought, well, why don't I do the Rani? Because lots of people want to see the Rani. Uh, I would certainly love to make it. And so that's what I did. And we have here a new um, two-pack. We have the Rani and the Seventh Doctor from Time and the Rani. Um, so the box has come together very well. I'm very pleased with the, uh, the look of the box. Overall, as I said, it's a standard box. Obviously, we've got the figures inside. We'll get onto those in a minute. And then down the bottom, I have um, made up the side tab using the same picture of the uh, Seventh Doctor that I had before and then just a picture of the Rani uh, Seventh Doctor and Rani from Time and the Rani um, but obviously we need to get on to looking at the figures so let's get on to that now so here we have my Seventh Doctor, regenerated Seventh Doctor and Rani figures now the Seventh Doctor is pretty much the same as the one you've seen before the only difference that I've made is I have repainted the waistcoat um, because my uh, skills at doing smaller details are a little bit better so I think the detailing that's come up better and then I have also painted the um, I've painted the um, the chain on him green because on my previous version it uh, it was purple um, and then the other thing I've done as well is just paint the pockets and the bits on the back uh, blue just to, again just to just to because it wasn't the it wasn't the blue beforehand uh, the Rani figure, um, I am incredibly pleased with the final product. It's come out a lot better than I thought it would. The hair is a little bit off, I have to say. Um, and obviously she hasn't got her earrings because I couldn't very easily sculpt on smaller bits like that. But I think the hair sculpt looks right. And I think from the front and even at a distance, I think it looks good. The Missy head, uh, especially the smiling one, works perfectly because I genuinely wouldn't have used the Missy head for anything else. So using it on this is a, is a great... Is a great um, a great use of it. The sculpting on the uh, the shirt I'm very very pleased with because this was um, probably uh, the most extensive amount of sculpting that I've ever had to do on a figure and so it, it was 
sort of something that I definitely wouldn't have been able to do several years ago. Um, I, to be perfectly honest, I didn't feel that competent about doing it now. But it has come out, and yeah, there's a few rough edges, and it's not perfect, but for me, it really has come out better than I thought it was going to, and it's it has really has sort of come together. Um, it has come together better than I than I had originally hoped, even if it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would um, to 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 put it together. Um, so you know, yeah, it's it's a great thing to have and, and a great thing to see. Um, it is a shame that you know that we would never probably end up getting this. Um, but um, for for fans and people that want to make custom figures, um, this isn't probably something to attempt if you've never used Millipup before. But if you have used it before, then this is one that is a that is well worth trying, and certainly one that I think is going to be a very popular idea amongst people. Obviously, I was inspired by other people I'd seen that do it. So if other people are inspired by me to do it themselves, then I certainly hope that um, that they will uh, that they will attempt to do it themselves and, and probably in many ways make a better job of it than me um, but it's a great it's a great one to have alongside all of my other uh, regenerated um, doctor figures as well especially as it's nice to have another two pack in my um, in my collection alongside my custom regenerated third doctor and auton as well so that is my regenerated seventh doctor and rani boxed uh, regeneration custom figure as always i hope you all enjoyed this video like, for subscribe, share, it helps me out a lot. I'm sure to go to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.